Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Pumesha Masse, and I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. And if you are, more especially if you are a returning subscriber, I just want to say thank you, thank you so much for always coming back and supporting me. If you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, you like what you see by the end of this video, please do make sure that you subscribe and of course you hit that like button and please do follow me as well. I just want to make mention, please do follow me as well on my Instagram. So for today's video, you guys, we are doing another teacher react to students TikTok. Now, you guys loved the first one and I thought let's do part two. Why not? Vele, why not? So yeah, if you want to see me reacting to some student TikToks, please do make sure that you carry on watching and let's jump straight into it. So we are going to jump straight into our first TikTok. So let's go. the teacher say they've got the uh they've got her tiktok account i would die i would honestly die imagine all the insane tiktoks that we put up not me not me personally but you know what i mean so that is just insane it was my classroom that just makes sense everything this caution is a game changer students earn points throughout the week and get to decide if they want to save or spend this is one of my students' favorite prizes to save up for. At the end of the week, if they have not, they get to take a trip to the claw machine. Oh, uh, that is so cool. I think that is just such a cool thing to do. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to get my hands on that claw machine. Where do we get one? Like where? Yes! There is nothing. I think I'm speaking for all teachers across the world. There is nothing we do not like more than observations. Hate them. Tell them. Mm. Principal I'm basically sorry, taking over the whole lesson. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm As for the heels, that is just a killer. That is a killer. Yeah, man, my first TikTok video. What's going on in the TikTok video? My first TikTok video. Yeah, my first TikTok video. Okay. Oh. 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 O
how are they even doing that how is that possible listen if you can do this with your friends on school day please do send me a picture because this is just impossible impossible they look like they're having a time of their lives It's the teacher trying to be cool for me. It's the brains for me. It's the knowledge for me. As you should. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is the teacher just being hype for me. It's the brains from me. Oh gosh. Love that one. I can't even do this thing, you guys. <laughs> mm -mm. That is going to be me very, very soon because I'm recording this on today is what day is it today? I don't even know what day it is today, but today's Tuesday, Sunday. We're going back to school. So that is going to be me the night before. Totally relatable. Why you always come to school stanky? Because your dad always be coming to my house smoking and still with my mama. Man. Yeah. Yeah. What is going with the truth? She always got something to say to me, but then what? Let me tell you how it is. Her dad didn't get something up for Christmas because he bought us some stuff. My dad didn't get y'all nothing. Stop lying. My dad was in jail. Oh, God. Mom, you know how you thought he was in jail. Yeah, just like you think you cute and you think you know everything. Good thing you only paid for thank you. I'll tell you what your mom be paid for, though. Look at the teacher. Look, she is just enjoying this. She's not even saying anything. She's acting like she wants to discipline the kids, but she low key doesn't want to. She wants to hear all the gossip. What should you pay for me? I think what you need to be paid for. You need to be paid to see the zoo look like an animal. Well, Louis don't think so. That's why he broke up with you. Keep going. Show you, guess what? I can't do it. If I want to lose, I can have him. Anything I have, I can give you right back. Oh, no, Dad. Oh, yes, girl. Well, make sure you get your toothbrush back when you get home. Like that. <laughs> that is just. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. I really don't even know what to say. How is he doing that? Does the boy in front not mind? Like. Oh, sorry, it's actually a girl in front. Like, uh, is that even a thing? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that one. I see this so many times, so many times. This used to be me as well. Like, I remember when I was in university, there were some assessments that we did that I did not study for and that was the expression that I got after the lecturer said no don't worry it's based on everything that I taught you in class like okay yeah this school doesn't have any homework tests or any classes at the what Dora's school in the Netherlands, life is so easy. For starters, everyone gets to customize their own desk, and these guys use the car. And don't you just hate it when teach- Is this real? Excuse me, I, I'm, I'm even like burping, because <laughs> I'm just, I'm shocked. Is this even real? I don't think this is real. Okay, I'm gonna have to Google if this is actually an actual school. Wait, let's actually do that. Agora school. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is actually a real school. This is actually a real school. Wow. 
hate it when teachers get mad at you for watching TikToks in class? Well, at Agora, students are allowed to use their phones and laptops whenever they want. Now, here's what a regular day looks like at Agora. Students start off by brainstorming with their friends to find out what they should do that day. After that, it's project time, which could be in any of their major facilities, including Woodshop. Then after lunch, there's this period called quiet time where students are encouraged to meditate and sleep in these little pods. But oh, wow. Sleep. Students are allowed to sleep. So you come into school to sleep. Wow. And you brainstorm with your friends what you plan to do for the day. Okay, then. The absolute best part of the school is the students get to decide when they start and when they go home. No, that is not true. I'm sorry. I don't believe this. I do not believe that there's a school like this. So that is just a babysitting facility. It's not a school. What do you guys think? Nah. Oh, she's just so cute. Oh, that face. Oh, that is just the cutest thing ever. Oh, no, no, that is, that face, that face does it all for me. Okay. Oh, God, I'm late for school. <laughs> Wait a minute, I graduated college, I don't go to school anymore, come on. I'm a teacher. <laughs> that is going to be a lot of teachers this coming Sunday, I'm telling you. Reading haircuts from my school, part one. Fire. <laughs> no, he did not do that. Is that an actual haircut? Is this for real? I don't think this is for real. Like, who would do that to themselves? Who would do that to themselves? Like, why? <laughs> And at this point, what are you supposed to be doing as a teacher? Uh, do you just stand and watch her speak to everybody else? Or what do you do? What do you do? Oh, this is... Tell me if you are a teacher and this has ever happened to you. Please, please tell me in the comment section down below <laughs> because it will be interesting to see. But girl, you disturbed them. You were the one that came in and disturbed them. Get back to work. Like. Waking up in the morning. Thinking about so many things. I just wish things would get better. I'm trying to get rid of them. But nothing seems to your teacher is teaching you responsibility. Responsibility. Like. No, but I have to say. You know what? This is a good way of teaching kids to be responsible knowing that if you miss you clean it up period like that's how it's done okay if you would just get up and teach them instead of handing them a freaking packet yo there's kids in here who don't learn like that they need to learn face to face or you're just getting mad because i'm pointing out the obvious that is true i totally agree with that if you want kids to actually think that coming into school is exciting and fun you as a teacher need to make it that way you need to make it that way but obviously they also need to meet you halfway you know, it's a two-way street. Thank you. All you do is just tell them. It's you got to take this job serious. This is the future of this nation. Mm -hmm. And when you come in here, 
like you did last time and make a statement about, oh, this is my paycheck. Indeed it is. But and the teacher did not say that. Oh, wow. This is my country's future okay. and my education. Can you go outside, please? But there's a limit when I'm not bitching, but simply making an observation. Okay, okay. And now I will. Wow. He gone and told her off. Wow. Wow. Tell me why. If I could sing, I would definitely do this with my learners. And in the morning, I was in the village doing all right. Oh, good night. My name is Aniga Montoya. That is a great way of getting the kids' attention. Wow, I am impressed. I am this impressed. is what I think where you sit in class is about how you act. People in the escape zone sat in the front row so that they'd look like a good student, but they actually just wanted to be as close to the door as possible. They're watching the clock doodling regularly. How true is that? How true is that? These are your stereotypical front row people. They're raising their hand every five seconds, asking a million questions, and weirdly trying to prove to everyone how smart they are. These people might not be as good at school, but their plan is to become best friends with the teacher whose desk is right there. They'll just try to get them off track, talk about anything other than class. In the loud zone, you got people talking to each other, passing notes, laughing the whole time. Let's be honest, it's a fun place, but like 50% of it's for attention from the whole class and the teacher, and they secretly do care about class. I'd be hot take, but these people can be fantastic students just without asking as many annoying questions. They might not participate as much as everyone else, but they're going to get the highest score on the test. I don't know what it is about this spot right here, but these people actually don't care about school. They're never going to turn anything in, get in weird fights with your teacher, and it's just not a great energy. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is why you have to mix it all up. Mix it all up. I want you on my team. So does everybody else. Get it, girl? Yes. Yes. Whoa. Okay, why do we swear? Why do we have to have music that swears? Okay, moving on to the next one. Y'all got better skipping spots. Because my school is just built different. What are you doing in there? Why? Like, wh why? I don't get it. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to some student TikToks. Some of them were very questionable. So yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching you guys. Please do make sure that you subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, and obviously do all the things that need to be done to get the word out about this video. Don't forget to tell your friend Bachela Bangan Babu to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye. Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're going Before we get lost Can we just talk? Figure out where we're going